Hello and welcome. Um, today's video is my May wrap up. In the month of May, I read nine books, uh, including two audiobooks. Um, so let's just get into them. The first book is Little Rim Women by Louise May Alcott. Um, this, I enjoyed this book very much. Um, I liked how four sisters can get together and since it's not like nowadays where you can have uh, four sisters together and not be together at all. One can be on a computer and one can just go out and not have to spend any time together. I like the fact that the four sisters spent a lot of time together. I mean, there wasn't much else to keep them occupied with unless they spent time together. And I like the way they made up stories and they did plays and how they grew up through the novel. I really, really enjoyed this, this novel. Next is uh, The Daughter of the Pirate King. I enjoyed this one tremendously. I found it uh, quick and funny, and um, I like the dynamic between the two main characters. So the daughter of the pirate king, as well as the first mate on the ship that um, she intentionally gets um, kidnapped to go on to so that she could find the excuse me the part of the map that her father is looking for um it's sorry it's by uh trisha levenseller i really 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 enjoyed this book and um i would suggest it to anybody who would like to read it it's very much a book about a girl and what she can do to get what she wants and how fierce she is and I enjoyed it. Pick it up. I also read Simon versus the Homo Sapien Agenda by Beckert, Becky Albertalli. Excuse me. Okay I know this is a very popular book and I'm really sorry if I offend anybody but I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I found it okay. It It's a fairly quick read. I just wasn't in, invested in the characters as much as everybody else was. Um, I found it predictable and I found it kind of boring, uh, to tell you the truth. Still, it was, it was okay, uh, but um, maybe it was all the hype that didn't it didn't hit that hype level for me that made it that much of a disappointment for me. But I'm sorry. I I didn't enjoy it as much as everyone else did. Then I read uh, Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book is um, about Katie and, and Ezra, and I do like their relationship. I did get through this book very quickly because of the format of the book. I enjoyed it. Um, it's it's an interesting story and it's original in the way that it's uh, set out and how you get the story from uh, reports and um, people having conversations online and so forth. I enjoyed this one. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Oh my goodness. I loved this book. Um, so it's about two sisters um, during the World War II and how they each dealt with the war in a different way. Um, so um, 
And it's also about a story about what you need to do to survive a war, uh, which may not be exactly what everybody would expect you to do, but unfortunately that's what you have to do uh, to get through war. And it was touching. It, it made you cry, of course, because, I mean, it's World War II, and usually books about World War II in some way or another make you cry. This book dealt with each sister story and brought it back in the end and it explained their life before the war as well. Very, very, very good book. I recommend this one highly. If you pick it up, you will not de be disappointed. I also uh, read Coraline, or I listened to the audiobook um, by Neil Gaiman. Uh, I know that it was a cartoon out as well, but um, I finally got to read or listen to the audiobook um, about Coraline and how she finds a door in the new uh, apartment that they move into, and uh, her mother unlocks it, and she goes through the door and finds out that there's another mother and another father on the other side of the door and just how she's going to get back through the door and it was fun it was quirky and uh, I enjoyed it um, so I would recommend that one as well if you haven't read it yet I also read Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young um, I enjoyed this one as well. It was a good read. Um, Elin, oh, I believe you pronounce it Elin. I've been pronouncing it Elin. Is a girl who is a Viking and her clan um, is in a constant battle with another clan. And so they're at war and they're fighting and she sees what she thinks is her brother who has been dead for, for several years. Um, so it takes you from her journey of seeing her brother and going off and having to fight these this other clan um, to interacting with the other clan in in a way. It's a good book and I would recommend this one as well. The Serpent King by Jeff Zetner. I haven't heard too too much about this book. I think it's um, a book that de deserves deserves a lot more love on booktube than it gets, or at least that I've seen. This book follows three teens. Um, it's about their friendship and about um, their, their battle through high school. Um, it's also um, a coming of age kind of tale. And this book made me laugh. Um, it made me root for them and it also made me cry. I happened to read this one right after I read The Nightingale so I was very emotional for that period of time because both books brought me to tears. I would recommend this book highly. And the last book that I read this month was Longborn by Joe Baker. I actually listened to this one um, on audiobook. I've read this previously, and it's a tale about the servants, the servant side of the story of uh, Pride and Prejudice. So it follows uh, Sarah, who is the housemaid who dresses Elizabeth and Jane and the rest of the girls from upstairs, and it follows her life as well as the other servants lives as well and um, 
so it's a different perspective and I enjoyed it very much and I enjoyed uh, listening to it on audiobook as well. I would recommend this if you like Pride and Prejudice and it's it's a different aspect, a different uh, way of, of thinking of Pride and Prejudice and I think you would enjoy it. That's the um, all nine books that I read uh, in the month of May. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've read any of the books that I talked about, please comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts of the books. And I will see you the next time. Bye.